jump in a mailbag, right? Yeah. So we uh, we got one question I thought was really good. Um, we'll bring this one up this episode, and you know, some a question really I have, and I was gonna present this in some way with um, Brett anyway. So it's he said, uh, how do you think the Cartier collection compares to other rectangle type watches? He's talking about the tank here, mm-hmm. um, such as the JLC Reverso or the Long Jeans Dolce Vita. Um, you know, how do you think they compare which one, I, which one, and when you play the game, which one would you rather have, you know, between the JLC, I take it you wouldn't want the Dolce Vita if you have all three for nothing, but would you yeah. rather have a Reverso or a, a Cartier? And I mean, I get it. Hmm. Let's play pricing here, which makes it a lot tighter race. Cause if you're saying, Hey, I can have a Reverso with two dials, <laughs> you yeah. know, you flip it in is actually two watches in one. Then obviously I, I think I would take that. But let's say it's the OG reverso where it's you have the dial or you flip it around and it's the flat, it's you know, just flat case back. Yeah. So there's no dial on the back. So it's more the protective. What they actually made it for protecting with the polo for the reverso for the polo matches. Or would you rather have a Cartier tank, Santos, something like that? I that's a great question. I would probably rather have a Cartier. Um mm. I love JLC reversos. I'm a humongous fan of them and also want to own one. I um, watches are like Pokemon to me. I want to own them all. <laughs> um, but I think Cartier is, it's probably the more, I don't know, maybe it's like more iconic. Maybe like, that's like what I care about a little bit. Yeah. Um, JLC has got a lot of cool options. I think when it comes to like versatility and if I could just pick anything from the two, it probably would be that my favorite would would end up being a reverso, mm-hmm. but like Cartier could do that if they wanted to as well. You know, they could make really really unique and really playful dials if they wanted to, but they don't. Yeah. I think it's got to be the tank for me. I love the crown. Some people think it's quirky. Men specifically, if I had to guess, would think that that's a little quirky. It's a little like dead person's jewelry is the, is a term that I like to use a lot. Um, and I do see some of that in Cartier, but it's also what makes it very iconic and all that good stuff. So yeah, for me, I'm going to go Cartier, um, Cartier tank over JLC reverso. If I had those two to pick. Yeah. You know, I, I was always a big reverso guy and I still am. Um, but then after doing more of the research, I always, for some reason was thinking Cartier men's watches to get anything that was worth anything. You're spending 10 K at least. Mm-hmm. And uh, now seeing that you really can spend seven and get pretty much what I would want. Yeah. Um, then the reverso itself would, like we said, with a flat, uh, back siding, the protective back siding, not the two dials is I think around seven K as well. So I'm like, that's an even playing field. Yeah. And I think I'm with you. I would rather, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'd rather go back with the Cartier and get, yeah. you know, one of their watches for that price. Now, if you're talking, you can get anything you want at reverso all day because I want two watches in one. That yeah, just makes yeah, no yeah. sense. You know, the new one they came out with, I actually saw it when I was on vacation and earlier in June, um, it was, you know, their new Reverso that had one side, it was on the brown croc strap. One side was like an off white. Um, I think it was a GMT. And then the okay. back side was like a black. And you'll see it all over JLC. It's all over my Instagram and, you know, marketing things. They obviously know I like it. <laughs> I keep seeing it everywhere. <laughs> that watch is about 13, 14 grand though. So yeah. I'm like, okay, obviously, yeah, yeah you're it's better watch, but you're paying double the price. But yeah. for the price point alone, yeah, I think Cartier, you know, a tank or, um, Santos would definitely be what I would go with as well. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a great value proposition from Cartier. Um, I think as long as you're outside of quartz movements, which again, everyone that listens to our show, they know probably both of our stances on that. It's too much to pay for a quartz movement. So you're getting automatic tank. Um, you know, yeah, like outside of gold. Yeah. If you're six, seven, eight K for a Cartier tank. Um, yeah, I think, I think give me that. Like you said, JLC has got more options. Yeah. And I think the reason I think also part of my reason for saying Cartier is that if I was buying a Cartier, there's a 50 50 shot. It's going to be a tank. If I'm buying a JLC, 100 percent, it's going to be a reverso, but yeah. not guaranteed that it's not going to be like a dual sided uh, dial or yeah. some of the newer ones. Like some have got skeleton on one side, like, you yeah. know, they've yeah, got some really cool. cool options. So you're i think you're limited in cartier which for the purpose of this experiment makes me say cartier Mm -hmm. uh, because i know that when i go to buy one it's going to be a tank or it's going to be a santos 
Yeah. And um, JLC, they've just got too much to pick from. You know, it's like it's like Rolex. I would love a Rolex, but which one? You know, yeah. I would love I would love yeah. an Omega, but which one? I would love yeah. a Cartier. Uh, probably it's gonna be, it's gonna be... <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And and yeah, I get that. And I don't know. I'm and I like feeding off your sentiment there. I promise you, I will not be getting a Reverso that has the blank. The dot, flat the back yeah the flat yeah. back I, I just i'm why why do you want to reverse it but you can still only use one side <laughs> yeah you know I, I i don't play sports anymore i don't <laughs> you know play polo I, i'm not gonna wear that reverso doing anything active yeah. so why do i you know i want to be able to choose the side so when i get a reverso and i love jlc's other watches they have beautiful watches but definitely your first one has yeah. to be a reverso i feel like and, oh yeah uh, and yeah. so you know i'm i i at that point if i'm sitting there saying well, if I was just given the flat back or the Cartier, you know, tank, I would, I would take the tank because I don't even really want the flat back anyways. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't pay for it with my own money. So obviously I need to pick the tank of the Santos. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's another good point. Cause you know, kind of talked about it at the top of the episode, like the reason that we only did the Santos and only did the tank is because, you know, like, yeah, there's the Panther, there's the, the mm-hmm. Ballon blue. Um, but yeah, if you're going Cartier, if I'm going personally for myself, then yeah, it's going to be Santos or Tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... Maybe our next time around on this brand, we'll talk about other ones. But as always, we uh, talk about the watches that we would buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure.